Hey guys, Matt Day here for KEH Camera, and today I'm gonna to be sharing three tips to help you guys stay organized and efficient while you're out shooting. There are a lot of different things you can do, but what I wanna share with you guys are just three really simple things that I've done that aren't expensive, easy ways to stay organized, and it's gonna save you a lot of time because if you're working with a client, you know, you really wanna be able to uh, make the most out of your time. You don't wanna be kind of just fumbling through things and wasting a lot of time because time is important to you and your client as well. And uh, you know, the more organized and just efficient you are, the better that's gonna come across to the client as what they're getting in the whole experience altogether. So uh, these are just three really simple and easy and cheap things that you can do that are hopefully gonna really help you out while you're out in the field. And no matter if you're shooting digital or film, I'm gonna cover something for each side of those things today. So hopefully this is something you're gonna learn, be able to apply to yourself while you're out there shooting. One thing I'm gonna be talking about a lot in this video is gaffer's tape. This is just tape that you can buy at any photo and video store, uh, really easy to find. They come in a million different colors and sizes. Uh, it's a lot like duct tape, except whenever you remove it, it doesn't leave any of that sticky residue that duct tape does at times. And uh, honestly, I use this stuff for everything. You know, it's made for photographers and videographers. Anybody working on a set like that, um, it has a million different uses, but I use it just in our own home for all kinds of different things. Uh, you know, so it's, it's really useful stuff. And if you don't have any gaffer's tape, you can easily find it. But if you just wanna use something laying around the house for what we're doing today, you can use like masking tape, duct tape, anything that you can really use just to kind of make a label for yourself. But the first thing we're gonna talk about is labeling your batteries. What I have here are three different uh, Nikon batteries for my Nikon D750, which is what I'm using to record this video. Um, what I do is I label my batteries because whenever I'm out on a shoot and I'm going through batteries, uh, specifically like a wedding day where I'm actually gonna be shooting enough to go through a lot of batteries because you know batteries today on most DSLRs um, and some mirrorless cameras as well, they last a long time and you don't really have to change them as much as you may have used to, but it's nice to have everything labeled just so whenever it comes time to change out a battery, you're not wasting a lot of time. So all I do is I just take a small strip of that gaffer's tape and I just stick it on the bottom of the battery and uh, I, lit, I number it basically. So all I have to do is whenever I'm taking out a battery and I see I'm replacing battery number one, I go to grab battery number two and then so on and so forth. You know, that way whenever I'm digging through, I don't just see a bunch of blank batteries and I have no idea which ones I've used and which ones I haven't. This way it's, uh, you know, it's really easy for me to do. It's not something I can mess up and uh, it's less time I have to spend kind of going through batteries and checking batteries. All I have to do is grab the next one and go and I can keep shooting. But to stick with the idea of labeling things, I also like to label my SD cards whenever I have them in my case here. Um, this is just one of those hard plastic cases for SD cards just to keep them from getting smashed. And uh, all I did was I took some gaffer's tape and I made a couple labels in here and it helps me stay organized and I don't have to worry about which one to grab because this will hold eight cards in here, but instead I actually just have four cards. They're each 32 gigabyte cards, and for me, even on a wedding day, that's plenty of space. Um, I don't shoot a ton, and uh, you know, it just, it's plenty for me. Some people might need more, and if you need to do, you know, two different cases, that's fine, but really the idea is simple. All I do is I have two rows here, so I have the top row and the bottom row. So on the bottom row, or the top row necessarily, I leave it empty at first, and on the bottom row, this is where I store all the cards at the beginning of the day. So right over here, you see that it says empty with an arrow pointing down. That means all of the cards on the bottom of, uh, of the case here, you know, basically below the label, those are all empty. Those are fresh cards, they're ready to shoot, they don't have anything on them. And whenever I take the card out of the camera and I put it in the case to grab a new one, I put them up here in the top row where it says full with an arrow pointing up. So anything up here, those cards are full. I don't need to grab those. Um, now you could just say, basically, uh, you don't have to worry about labeling anything. You just remember bottom is fresh, top is full. Um, but with this case, you know, it's kind of the same on both sides. So I didn't want to be trying to remember which way I had it. And uh, it just helps me stay organized that way. So really simple to do. That way you don't have to worry about checking cards. You just grab Grab the next one, store the other one away, and you're ready to go. And for you film photographers out there, this is something that you can do uh, that's gonna make your life a lot easier. It's something that you can pick up at any grocery store, gas station, anything like that. These are just two Ziploc bags, just two plastic bags to keep your fresh film and your exposed film, and just keep them separated. That's all you have to do. So whenever I start out with a day, I'll have one of these bags full of film that's already unwrapped and ready to go, and it's in there, uh, you know, none of it's 
it has been exposed yet. And then with the second bag, as I'm changing out film and I finish a roll, I go and put it in the exposed bag. So the reason I do this is just because, uh, especially with like medium format film with 120 rolls, um, you know, oftentimes the label, uh, whenever it's actually been exposed, it's gonna be a different color or it'll have something different on there. It might even say exposed, but it's a lot easier to just have everything in two separate compartments. That way you don't have to try and look and figure out which one you've shot and which one you haven't. Um, and you know, same goes for 35 millimeter film as well. So uh, this is just something that's easy to do. Um, it's personally made my life a lot easier. And if you have your film all in one place and zipped up, it's just a nice thing to uh, make sure you're not gonna have any of your film get left behind because uh, for me personally, I finished up a session and I go and ship the film off to be developed. And then, you know, a week later, I realized that there was, you know, one roll that had fallen out of that compartment and it was in a different part of the camera bag and was covered up by other stuff. And, uh, you know, I forgot to send that one off basically. So having stuff uh, all in one place, it does help. Again, it's something super simple, but you know, uh, it's helped me a ton in the past. Now, all of this stuff is great for just staying efficient and it's gonna save you some time, but just to stay organized with your camera bag, that's another really important important part of this. And for me, if I'm changing batteries and I'm changing SD cards and film, stuff like that that I'm gonna be going back and forth to my camera bag, you know, while I'm on a shoot, it helps me to use any kind of like quick access parts of any camera bag. So uh, for instance, this bag here, this is the Tenba shootout bag, and this is a bag from KEH Camera. If you haven't checked out their bag selection on the website, you should definitely do that. They have all kinds of different bags for really great prices, and uh, really any kind of bag for any kind of style you're looking for, or you know basically the amount of gear you have to carry they have a lot of selection on there and for this bag as you can see here on the side you have a couple of these little quick access parts here so where you know the main part of the bag you don't want to have to unzip everything and you know move a bunch of stuff around and have stuff underneath other equipment all you have to do is just have a quick simple pocket on any bag you can often find them on the sides or maybe uh, on the front up here at the top anything like that where it's going to give you quick access to it so for me with any kind Kind of batteries or SD cards I make sure it's right there on the side or on the top and it's easy for me to get to that way whenever I say hold on I got to change a battery or I have to you know change the roll of film or SD card all I have to do is go over to the bag and it's right there on the side I don't have to dig through my bag to find them or anything like that it's ready to go so those are just three tips that have personally helped me stay organized on a shoot and helped me save some time so I'm not wasting my time or my clients so again they're really simple and affordable things you don't have to spend a lot of money I mean plastic bags and some tape that's really it but it saved me some time and hopefully it saves some time for you guys as well and if you guys have any tips for uh, you know any other photographers or even me things that you've done leave those below in the comments I'm excited to hear if there's anything that you guys have done that have personally helped you maybe they'll help some other people and for any of this stuff if you're looking to purchase anything it's always a great thing to check out KEH before you go anywhere else they always have a great inventory and really great prices and honestly the best customer service I've dealt with ever so definitely check them out so thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video